Lesson 3.6, solve proportions using cross products. Cross product, the product of a numerator of one ratio and the denominator of the other ratio. So the cross product is when we cross multiply. 3 fourths equals 6 eighths. We cross multiply and we have 4 times 6 is 24 and 3 times 8 is 24. So for the first problem here, we have 4 to x equals 12 to 24. So to solve this proportion, we will cross multiply. So first we have 4 times 24 equals x times 12. 4 times 24 is 96. x times 12 is 12x. Now we just solve for x. So we divide both sides by 12. On the right side, the 12s cancel each other out. We're left with x. On the left side, 96 divided by 12 equals 8. So x equals 8. For the next one, we have 4 to a equals 12 to 30. So to solve the proportion, we cross multiply. So first we take 4 times 30, which is 120, and a times 12, which is 12a. Now we're trying to isolate a, so we divide both sides by 12. On the right side, the 12s cancel each other out. We're left with a equals 10. For the next proportion, we have 3 to x equals 2 to x minus 6. So we cross multiply. Now when we cross multiply here, we must realize that underneath the 2 we have x minus 6, so there's two terms there. We have to make sure we put parentheses around that, so we multiply the 3 to both terms there. On the right side we have 2 times x. So on the left now, because we have 3 times the quantity x minus 6, we must distribute that 3 to each term inside. So we're left with 3x minus 18 equals 2x. Now we must move all the x's to one side because we have an x on the right side and we have an x and a number on the left side we will move the positive 3 to the right side. So we must subtract 3x to both sides. On the left side the x's cancel each other out we're left with negative 18 on the right side, we have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1x. Now, we must divide both sides by negative 1. We're left with x equals positive 18. Now, for the next proportion, we have m to 5 equals m minus 6 to 4. So, put parentheses around the top of the second fraction because it's two terms and now we must cross multiply. So first we have m times 4 and then we have 5 times the quantity m minus 6. On the right side we must distribute the 5 to both the m and the 6. So 4m equals 5 times m which is 5m minus 5 times 6 is 30. Now we must move all the variables to one side so we're going to move the m's to the left by subtracting 5 to both sides because it was a positive 5. 4 minus 5 is negative 1, so we have negative 1m equals negative 30. Divide both sides by negative 1, and m equals positive 30. Example 2. A recipe that yields 12 buttermilk biscuits calls for 2 cups of flour. How much flour is needed to make 30 biscuits? So the first thing in a word problem is identify what the question is. And here we're asked how much flour is needed to make 30 biscuits. We know that it takes 2 cups of flour to make 12 biscuits, so we can write that as a ratio 2 to 12. So now because we know we're trying to make 30 biscuits, we put 30 on the bottom to match up with the 12 biscuits 
and the variable up top to represent how many cups we need. So now we have a proportion 2 to 12 equals x to 30 and now we cross multiply. We have 2 times 30 equals 12 times x, 60 equals 12x, divide both sides by 12 and x equals 5. So we need 5 cups of flour.